Hi, this is Eric Olson, Olson Air and Maintenance. I want to show you a new ADSB in receiver. This is from Open Flight Solutions. This is called the Flight Box. This is a dual band receiver. They make this in dual band as well as single band. It comes as a kit uh, from $200 to $260. I bought the better antennas for this one. Um, it's a really good unit. Uh, it takes about five to ten minutes to assemble this. If, if you're interested in it, go to openflightsolutions.com. They've got videos and you can purchase it online. It does not have an internal battery. I purchased an anchor battery from Amazon. This is the Astro G3 external battery. It's used for anything that runs USB 5 volt. Uh, cell phones, iPads, it's made to be an external battery or a charger for those. It will power this ADSB unit for about six hours, which is really good. It's real good, good time on this. Now I want to show you how to pair the Open Flight Solutions ADSB receiver with an iFly 720. Turn on your iFly, go to the main home screen, click on Setup, go to the Internet button you'll see all your possibilities populate in the screen below. Click connect and you'll bring it up as connected to the flight box. Close that screen, close this screen, open navigation, And once you're on the navigation screen, you can see on this iFly, it's already picking up traffic. Here we have an aircraft at 6,900 feet, gaining altitude. Here we have another aircraft in yellow. I can't see underneath uh, the indication there what the altitude is, but in a few moments you'll be able to. But anyways, if you want to pair the, the ADS-B in device, click on your menu button, click on About. Connected devices, and it'll be in here. And this this is the menu that shows you that it is connecting and and communicating. And here you can you can see how many towers it's looking at, what it's receiving. Right now we're sitting inside of a building, so it's really not receiving much information. And here you can see the aircraft. It's gaining altitude at 5,500 feet. The plus sign is showing that it's gaining altitude. You can see the arrow is the direction of flight and I'm not sure if you can see it on the screen or not but there is a little tail in front of that that arrow showing where the aircraft is is heading. Same with this one up here. And this is our present location right here, the little blue airplane. Now this is how it shows the traffic. In flight with altitude like any other ADS-B receiver is where you would pick up your your weather. Now, sitting in the building here we can get some of the weather information. I'll click on Portland Troutdale Airport. It brings up some of the info about the airport. We can get some of the weather here. And we can bring up the METARs, the TAFs, winds aloft. We're not picking anything up at this moment. Again, we're inside of a building also. But this gives you all the all the information possible as we scroll through and down. There's, there's much more that it offers. I'm unable to do some of it at this location. We're not in an aircraft. We don't have any altitude. Um, I'm not able to get full signal inside of this building. But this is this is showing how the ADS-B works on a 720 iFly. Thank you for watching.